Part 1 The Old Buccaneer Chapter 1 The Old Sea Dog at the Admiral Benbow Squire Trelawney, Dr. Livesey, and the rest of these gentlemen, having asked me to write down the whole particulars of a treasure island from the beginning to the end, keeping nothing back but the bearings of the island, and that only because there is still treasure not yet lifted. I take up my pen in the air of Grace 1770, and go back to the time when my father kept the Admiral Benbow Inn, and the brown old seaman with the sabre cut first took up his lodging under our roof. I remember him as if it were yesterday, as he came plodding to the inn door, his sea chest falling behind him in a hand barrow. A tall, strong, heavy, nut brown man, his tarry pigtail falling over the shoulder of his soiled blue coat, his hands ragged and scarred, with black, broken nails, and the saber cut across one cheek, a dirty, livid white. I remember him looking round the cove and whistling to himself as he did so and then breaking out in that old sea song that he sang so often afterwards. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest, yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. In a high old tottering voice that seemed to have been tuned and broken at the capstan bars. Then he rapped on the door with a bit of a stick like a handspike that he carried. And when my father appeared, called roughly for a glass of rum. This, when it was brought to him, he drank slowly, like a connoisseur, lingering on the taste, and still looking about him at the cliffs and up at our signboard. This is a handy cove, says he at length, and a pleasant situated grub shop. Much company, mate. My father told him.